Hello everybody, my name is Xavio, and welcome back to Let's Play Blinks the Time Sweeper. Now, in the last episode, we finished, I believe we finished up Deja Vu Canals, and started Hourglass Caves. I think that's what we did. It's been a couple days since I've recorded, so a little side note why I don't remember. Um, but we are on stage three, and I need to stop saying um. I noticed that... <laughs> Apologies, first of all, for my first four episodes. Uh, I say um a lot in those, and I'm going to try to not do that as much in this recording session. We'll see how that goes. But let's just let's just get started in stage three. Probably gonna move on to the do the first stage of the next let world as well. Oh, this this level. I really enjoy this one. I don't know why. It's just a different take. I suppose, on most of the world so far. Man, my time controls are looking weird. I'm gonna have to try and fix that for the, for the next boss. What's really funny is most of the bosses don't need time controls to be beaten. Which I always found interesting. Okay. Wait. Mm. Yeah, the main gimmick of this stage is um, it's pretty vertical, as you can see. Could get another rewind, I suppose, but I want to go for a retry here because I could use one. I suppose I could also go for pause or slow. I never use slows or fast forwards, for that matter. Unless I'm really, really desperate for it. For... I usually keep one on hand, just for, you know... Stuff and things. Okay, there we go. I believe in the last episode we also got the upgrade. Upgraded sweeper pack. Yeah, I can hold ten pieces now. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. This part always gave me problems. Always gives me problems, at least. There we go. Because these spinning platforms, you don't want to side flip on accident. And you have to defeat three enemies while up here. Oh, see, see, this, this is what happens. I want get up to this. There we go. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Because I think there's a secret up here that I missed. Oh, backflip. Did not mean to do that. You pretty much don't want to be doing... Oh, gosh dang it. Ah, uh, yes, I would have missed a cat medal. Look at all that gold up there. Uh, give you two guesses of what's going to happen with that. And even... Two, three, four pieces of trash wasted on a single one-hit monster. Good. Glad I'm efficiently using that. Aha. No, not that one. I wanted to hit the two-hit monster with that. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I actually managed to hit that guy? Wow. Oh, that was dumb wasn't paying attention. I used up one of my the little balancing ball things on that enemy. That was really dumb. Okay, at least I get this guy's out of it. Do a constellation prize. Now, I noticed there are two heart crystals here. I'm gonna do my absolute best to not grab anything but a heart crystal in for the rest of this. You get two guesses what's gonna happen when I walk over to that trash. Three guesses. First two don't count. Oh look! Look, it's a Tom Tom gang member. Oh yeah, he's still invincible right now. Now this guy always manages to get me in one way or another. I don't know why. 
I don't even know what they're saying either. Sure, you make fun of me. I got all the gold though. So who's the real sucker? I, I do need to cancel my crystal combo. Gosh dang. Why? My task? Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright then. These, the green crystals. I don't think I've gotten over these yet, because this is our first instance of having to use it. So walk over to this gate. Two door two doors, two buttons, but only one blinks. You need the power of two. Now. Green time control is what what it's talking about. It's called record. Though judging by the simple symbol, you'd probably be able to figure that out on your own. Considering all the rest of them have been like typical controls you would see on like a where are there oh, I can't get out that way are there seriously no other green crystals really do I have to jump out and grab some jump out here find some more green crystals to grab that's completely lame and a massive waste of time Okay. Gotta record. Use record to record and play back time. A copy of yourself repeats what you just did. While you're being recorded, you're invincible. Yeah, this is a really cool time control. Does not have many uses, but all the same. Very cool. So we're gonna use these spring pads again. Get back up to where I was. Nice and quick. go. And if we had a level 3 sweeper, we could just shortcut back through that giant weight right there. As so happens, this door does open for us, which is convenient. It do will it does close behind us again, though, so... <laughs> if we mess this up, have to go back around again. Although, I'd, I don't know if I'd be able to complete the stage at that point, because I don't know if there's enough record. That's the one that closes faster, I believe. This is the one with cutscene. Yes, this is the one I need to push to. Okay. So, this is how record works. So, you just hit record, little timer on the bottom goes down, you go over, you do a thing, you keep doing it until it's. until you run out, basically, because I need to step on that switch for a little while. Then it backs it up, and. There goes my recorded copy. Press that button, and they both open. Now see, the reason I did that is because the, the button I just pressed closes a lot slower than the other one. I can't believe I managed to hit that guy, jeez. Get out of here. I know, game. I know. Pray to the goal gate. Uh, not before I pick up some trash. How do I get that one? Oh, I have to use a pause. Well, I'm kind of low on time for this world right now. Or this stage, rather. So I think I'm going to pass on that. We'll come back for it, though. We'll come back for it. At some point, when I go back and get just all the cat medals. Yeah, seven minutes for that one stage. Stages are definitely getting longer. First cat medal of the second set. Look at that. Moving up in the world. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay. Can we move on to the boss now? <laughs> okay. Actually, hang on. Considering I didn't do this last time, grabbing this. There we go. Another retry holder. Wish I had more retries to go with it, but unfortunately not. <sighs> now this boss right here, also quick fun fact, you can just hit left and right triggers on the controller to switch between worlds. This boss always takes at least one to two of my retries. Always. 
Hopefully I'll be able to do it in one shot this time, but you'll see why I don't like this boss right now. It's a big version of the that enemy type that I hate. And you have like no time to react before it hits you in the beginning, which I always forget about. Oh. Not sure what you did there. Gotcha. You have to run and grab another piece of trash real quick before he's allowed to get back up. Because he's because this boss is very fast. Come on. Oh yeah, and he does replace the platform, so you don't need to worry about running out of those. Boom. Another three-hit boss, so nothing too crazy yet. I think we get I don't think we get our first more than three hit boss for a while. Uh, you do have some opportunities to hit him after that, and I'm surprised I managed to do that in one shot. As always, the whole rewind trick. Grabbing the gold. Boom. I got most of it. It's better for if you're like standing uh there i go with the ums again let's see if i can't i think i can grab a rewind here <laughs> this sand is so ridiculous though um um again with the ums i need to stop there we go collected a rewind perfect except for the one i just used so I totally lost my train of thought. Yeah, I'm surprised I managed to beat that boss with uh, as little hassle as I did. Missed a few shots, but you know. Whatever. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I normally have a lot of trouble with this boss fight. But yeah. We get to move on to one of my stage favorite stage. My f I don't know how I even replaced the word favorite with stage right there. <laughs> um, one of my favorite worlds, Forgotten City. So yeah. Um, actually, I think I can. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Yes, it is a good deal because I will be able to just get the retry holder after the next round. After the next stage and I want full retries because it's very nice to have. Alright, nothing else. Let's move on to Forgotten City. Sorry about spending so much time in the shop, it's just it's a very important aspect of this game. Makes everything way easier. Alrighty. Straight into Forgotten City and <laughs> I like to call the theme of this world of bombs. Bombs everywhere. Oh, and a new enemy type as well. In fact, we'll be seeing two new enemy types in this world. Yep. <laughs> I just defeated two monsters inside there. One of the wizards, and both the one-hit enemies. This do that door does close behind you, so bombs will explode instantly. Wow, I got both of them. That's nice. Oh, look at all those. Uh, retry <laughs> look at all these retry crystals. I didn't have to waste my money on that. Pretty much, some of the only trash in this stage is just bombs. It's actually pro might be worthwhile to let the wizards and the oh, little balloon enemies shoot trash at you because it actually makes this oh, okay that was way too close yeah you gotta be careful but with bombs because they will blow up very quickly uh, upon hitting an enemy so let's try that again well at least now I can grab a retry that's a good that's good Gotta retry. Replace that one I just wasted. Oh, hi! Get blown up, get blown up! No! Made me waste a bomb! 
Gotcha. I got the Tom Tom Gang member, too. That's fun. Two are on the seesaw. It'll go higher. Yep, that's our cue. Need to use record again. Let's grab two. Why not? We have the room in our time control inventory for it. In fact, I can... I can grab a pause as well without using up any of my old time controls. That's super nice. So yeah, the big green circle is dead giveaway for this. So I'm gonna do, hit that record, jump over here. What I like to do is just jump, just jump. Makes it so that if you accidentally miss your jump going up, you have a backup plan. I already have another record, but better do it. Only use one time control on this. Come on. Yeah, I got the gold. Okay, best thing to do, come up to here to a room full of bombs and some enemies. Best thing to do, suck up all the bombs. And stay far away. Just set them all off makes it a whole lot easier to get through this area. And our first piece of non-bomb trash for shooting that. <laughs> it's literally the only reason they provided that, I guarantee. Oh gosh, no bombs! They can't hit you through walls, so... Alright, that'll blow up that chain, take care of the balloon enemy hit the other guy. And I need to pick up this, because I don't want to use that ball. Gotcha. And bombs. It's just so, so many bombs. Two rewinds, so it should be good. Don't need to try and grab one of those. I can't remember, have I demonstrated slow yet? I don't know. There we go. Inventory full of bombs. Bombs and a balance ball. And you guessed it. They collapsed out from under us, and there's a cat metal up there. I want to remember that. Rewind this. And this frog enemy is so unbelievably dead. There's not a scale on which to measure how dead this frog enemy is. Boom. I mean, when bombs are your only, you know, your only method of attack, and the enemy is literally weak to bombs. Is there something down here? Gold. Good enough reason for me. Maybe a cat metal. We can climb that ladder to get back out, so that's good. Aha! First blue cat metal. Like I said, blue cat metals are typically rewarded for... Oh! I did not realize that was going to happen. Alright, <laughs> let's try that again. Oh! It just gives us more bombs. Thanks, game. That's exactly what I needed. Perfect. Like I said, the theme of this, this stage is bombs. Just bombs everywhere. And yes, you can activate these switches with bombs, it's just less risky to do that other way. Ooh, these. These are cool. So yeah, uh, chests can contain bombs as a... Ow, oh, that crystal combo. Oh well. Wasn't looking to grab a new time control anyways. Now here... There's a cat metal down there, a red one. So, one of the easier ones to get. And then there's this nonsense all going on over here. To deal a bunch of damage to this guy. This is a new enemy. Um, I'm not sure what their actual name is called. What they're actually called, rather. But they take so many hits, it's absurd. And then... Little enemy pops out. And he's gonna fall down. Perfect. Just what I needed. 
Boom. Yeah, did that guy down the little seahorse looking thing? Uh, he's really easy to take out. Once he's down to this form, you just shoot him once and... Bye-bye! He, he will try and charge you. Why am I having so many problems with this? Oh! Apparently that hit him. And they dropped so many time crystals. Just, just so many. Cat metal! We will be getting one more. So that's it. That is not gold. I want gold. And... Hey, hey, look at this. Grab this. And... Get a golden cat metal. Boom. Totally forgot that was a golden cat metal. I thought it would have been a red or a silver. It was pretty simple to get, but, you know. Oh well. Oh man, yeah, these stages really are getting long. There we go, full up on trash, mostly bombs, which is good. But I'm going to replace one of my bombs at the top of my inventory with this. More gold. We're going to have enough to buy so many upgrades. And cat metal! Boom. We can't just run back across this. And the balloon is still there for us, so... No worries. Away we go. Oh, more gold up there. Yeah. These later stages will give you a lot of gold. And also you'll be able to earn a lot more by picking up bigger trash. Because the bigger trash, like I've said before, gives more gold. And these bombs are worth a lot too. I think they're 25, 30, something like that. Like I said, don't have all the numbers for this stuff memorized. There we go, at the top of the tree. And time sweep complete. Alright. That was, I think, the most cat medals we've gotten in a single stage before. How many did we get? We got all of them? Oh, that's awesome. Don't have to come back to this stage ever again. <laughs> Is that massive chain reaction? Yeah, there's 65 and 20 for those. I always overestimate them. I don't know why. I have 1,400 gold. Wow. That's awesome. Probably be able to buy the blue, one red, one gold, and one silver. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I don't think I've ever been able to do that before, like just find all of the cat medals in the first try. The first run through of a stage. Uh, okay. Now let's see. Grab the retry holder. Boom. And I'm Pretty sure I'll be able to buy the... Let's just take a quick look at the shop. I think I have a few more minutes. A minute or so left on the clock for this episode. Might as well see what we have. See if we have anything new. Usual stuff. I'm gonna grab that. Ah! Here we go. Level 3 sweeper. The TS-16000. The flame and the jaguar. The flame is... The jaguar is just a fancy looking level 2 sweeper. The, ja the uh, flame is a level 2 plus sweeper. This one can sweep up fire, which will be useful later on for getting cat medals and the like. And we can buy super bombs. I don't think you can get a super bomb in out of anything but the shop. It's a, uh, I believe it's a medium sized bomb instead of a small bomb or a large bomb or something. But yeah, there's quite a few new things in the shop and the zebra set, but I don't really care about that. Although the zebra set, if I was going to get any of them, it would be the zebra set because that's hilarious. Yes, I am leaving. Bye, shopkeeper, and your creepy all blue eyes. Never mentioned that before. She has creepy all blue eyes. And they all look the same. It's like Nurse Joy from Pokemon. Alright, well, I think that'll do it for this episode. Finished up Hourglass Caves and started Forgotten City. So, and these the Forgotten City stages are very long, so I don't think I'm gonna do in more than like, like two of these at a time uh, from here on out. It's two stages, and I'll throw in the boss at the end, uh, so the next episode. 
the next episode. We will be c tackling stage two, stage three, and the boss, because bosses typically don't take too long. Uh, the later bosses will be a stage unto themselves, so look forward to that. Anyways, my name has been Octavio, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.